Silver streaks is related to the appearance or aesthetic defect which is a shining or crackling patterns on the surface of the molded product. My name is Jagdish Atole and in this video I am going to provide you the information about the silver streaks or it is also called as splay marks. Do subscribe, like and share the videos and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning video from the design gigs. Without any further delay, let's deep dive into the topic. Silver streak are the splash appearance of the moisture or air or the charred partic plastic particles on the surface of your molded part which are fanned out in a direction emanating from the gate location. So these silver streaks are called as a splay marks. You might have seen such splay marks or the uh, silver streaks on the plastic spoon or some plastic dishes or the transparent cover of the sheet and such lines of the streaks can be observed on a car headlights also but mostly such streaks which we are observing on the car headlight occurs because of the environmental conditions so that streaks are not considered as a manufacturing defect that's like the post processing on the environmental conditions uh, occurring on the part whatever we are discussing here that is silver streaks which causes during the manufacturing and which can be considered as a manufacturing defect so what causes the silver streaks or the splay marks on the part so the first is silver sticks can be caused by the moisture present in the resin because the plastic material absorbs certain degree of moisture present during that storage and if the material is not dried properly before molding process then that moisture residing in, in that resin will turn into the steam during the injection process and the splay out on, on the surface of molded part. The moisture present in the resin that leads to the splay mark of the silver string. The second reason is trapped air. During the plasticization period, a certain amount of your gas can be trapped and blended into the melt material. If this trapped air does not escape during the injection pressure, then it could uh, splay out on, on the surface of your molded part and that leads to the silver stick or the splay mark. Splay marks can be occurred due to the material contamination when molded with the two materials as we switch from one material to the another material it also leads to this defect and residual particles left in the barrel could be charred if the second material contaminates the molten material. The rest, if there is a residual particles left in the barrel for the second batch then that could lead to the silver streaks because of the incompatibility and your silver streaks are or the splay marks can be caused due to inadequate shot volume if the shot size is below 20 percent of the machine injection capacity especially for like your temperature sensitive material like your ldp or hdp then the melt resins will remain in the barrel for too long and it will begin to adequate and the operating conditions like increased melt temperature and increased injection speed and the pressure will also cause the splay marks on the part now let's discuss what remedial actions we can take for the silver streaks first is to handle the material properly or carefully by pre-drying the plastic pallets or plastic granules properly before molding uh, process because the pre-drying will eliminate the moisture content present in the plastic granules or the plastic pellets and with the design modifications like enlarging the sprue and runner and the gate area we can mitigate the splay marks because the restrictive runners or the sprue or the gate or ultimately the feed system can cause your excessive shear heating that abbreviates uh, and already overheated materials causes the material degradation and by altering the molding conditions or molding parameters like increasing the back pressure or decreasing the melt temperature or by decreasing the injection pressure and by decreasing the injection speed we can mitigate this play marks or the silver sticks on the part so this defect is more on mold operators or the mold maintenance level 